Having transformed you into a proper prog elitist Wojak, I know we're kind of taking a step back today for Master of Puppets by Metallica. But since Metallica is one of the most iconic metal bands of all time, I figured we had to get into it sometime. Metallica has become kind of their own thing now. They're not just a band, they're a brand. The people wearing the Metallica t-shirts mm -hmm. that can't even name three songs like all the f fucking rappers and my dad. Metallica has definitely branded themselves as the pop metal band. They are on every radio station rotation. It was definitely interesting to see what you would think because of the prog elitist. <laughs> I've also heard through the grapevine that this is their best album. I don't know, is it their best album? Let us know in the comments. Without further bovine excrement, battery. Some nice Spanish acoustic music. I was not expecting that from a uh, heavy metal album. James Hetfield's tubular bathroom tone has become so iconic paired with bass when they actually uh, pair it with bass. The harmony of the guitars as well as the arranged chords really brings life to the song in typical heavy metal and Metallica fashion. It smashes the heavy metal sound right into it. I have my imitation of uh, Iron Maiden, you know. Dun, dun, dun. I think you, you nailed the, the Metallica impression. Since there's not a ton going on musically in the first half, you can really appreciate James Hetfield as a vocalist. He's not necessarily a Bruce Dickinson or a James Labrie when it comes to range and versatility and vibrato and etc. But like you were saying earlier, can you imagine anyone else singing with Metallica? Imagine Sting. The one thing that you have to give uh, James, he has one of the most iconic voices for metal. He is a perfect frontman for Metallica. The second half is a drastic improvement over the first with Cliff laying down a Thick bass line and Kirk leading the way with a great riff into the nice solo. And then I guess for some reason they decided we didn't need to stay in that direction and we needed to go back to the first direction and we needed more of. <laughs> yeah! I think there were songs that were significantly better to open the album than this one. So I give this one a Family! out of 10. A good opener, but I, I agree that there's more on here that they could have picked before. I, one of the better ones on the album as a whole, so I give this one a 7.5. Besides Enter Sandman, this is the song that people think about when you talk about Metallica. The song itself, a little repetitive. They realized that they had repetitive chords and repetitive arrangements, so they added very perfectly timed pauses. James and Kurt, you know, they, they shred and bring the listener closer to the heavy metal masterpiece of the song, and it's definitely one of the sing-along Metallica songs. Master! Master! <laughs> I mean, come on. I only master. sing along to Gigi Allen. The energy level was cranked for the first half, but not much happened until that X Excellent clean guitar section. They inject life and atmosphere into the song at a much needed point. The break also makes the outro more interesting as well with more breathing room. They definitely bit off Ozzy in that last section though. So here come the hate comments. This was not necessarily the masterpiece that I was advertised. I'd even pick a song like one over this one, but it's definitely a nice addition to the album. 7 out of 10. Being one of the most iconic Metallica, let alone heavy metal songs in history, I give it an 8.5. I love how James in the opening verse was able to go from a softer style of singing immediately into his most aggressive style on the album. Although it's more of the same heavy, simple riffing, it's the slowed down tempo that really allows it, ironically, to really dig in and be more aggressive as it slowly chugs in your face. For a song that is somewhat the exact Metallica yes. formula, fast BPM, yelling, military, money, or mental kind of health. Mental health, there you go, equals Metallica song. It fits the tone of the album well once it hits that about two minute mark it's kind of like it gets stuck on loop it's not one that stands out to me in terms of their musicianship or creativity the dissonance of kirk solo actually adds to the twisted evil and dark feel of the entire song it sounds like he's playing a solo to a different song in the middle of this one but somehow it still works but um <laughs> yeah that's that's all i wrote <laughs> so good addition to the album i give it a seven and a half i give it a six and a half on what 
seems to be the second song on this album. They finally put attention into a stellar buildup on here. Cliff Burton puts on an absolute show. One of the best metal intros I've ever heard. The harmonics and evil sounding guitar patch followed by the echo patch leads the listener right into the sanitarium. Besides just doing the typical, you know, fast paced yelling into the microphone, they were able to actually capture what the song is supposed to be about. The fast pace of all time pauses as well as the classic solo brings this piece to the top of the list on this entire album. How eloquent. James's moody clean sections are the foundation and the heart of most of the song. I give it a seven and a half. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. More like disposable song. The story is an excellent fit for the Master of Puppets theme. Mm. I think we were talking about your opinion on joining the military and the reasons why you would never do it. And I think that's a perfect fit for what they were talking about here, right? If you want to talk about that. Unless it's something in terms of you have to actually defend the homeland. Unfortunately, there's a lot of evil people out there that use the brave men and women in the armed forces as pawns. Or puppets. Or pu puppets. Yeah. And that's what this song talks about. As for the rest of it... Yes! Yes! Cliff fucking burden. The first time you played this for me, I thought it was a synth in that, the beginning. So it's him using the wah pedal, and he uses a Leslie speaker and a delay effects. Cliff thought, I need to sound like a guitar. Cliff being one of the best bass players to ever live, unfortunately, of course. I had to die young, unfortunately. And then Metallica never needed a bass player ever again. The first solo he puts down is spectacular. He's able to separate himself from the rest of the band with his tone, his effects, and overall stellar composition. The Roadhouse Blues section, again, he dominates when he plays his own riff and also harmonizes with the guitars. And then the man plays a guitar solo on bass. I believe, which I think most people in the comments will, and if not, you're wrong, Cliff was the best member of Metallica. He was the most skilled. He had the best inputs. And you said he had that classical background too. He so had a little bit of classical. Of he makes this song what it is. Not to take away from what Kirk and Lars are doing <laughs> for the they were on the song. song. I only heard uh, Cliff, so. Personal favorite, and I think you would agree with me. Best on the album by give us, far. Give this one an eight. I give this one a nine. Interesting intro. How did they um, do that thing? Was it playing backwards? Yes! Overall, I think this was a pretty much successful trip into the cave to visit the cavemen and their music. <laughs> Metallica is an iconic band, and this is an iconic album. And it's a shame that, like you said, Cliff had to leave us, but he left us with some of his best work and is truly one of the best of all time. Is it their best album? For me personally, I don't think so. Is it one of their best in terms of what they've put out? Yes. <laughs> I'd have to say it isn't because uh, Saint Anger is just, you know, next level. <laughs> Iconic, the perfect recipe for heavy metal. Cliff, of course. Imagine if he didn't get the chance to write Orion before. The human race would have ended. Bass players would have just went extinct. They um, did after this album. We need a bass player, okay. You could sit there. We need you for the pictures. You can go home. Overall, Give it a seven. Seven.